I think that I share the love by being patient. I'm patient with myself. I know that I won't know everything. I know there'll be moments when, to be honest with you, I am exhausted, but I give myself the time to breathe. I recognize, gosh, I'm in this moment right now where I don't feel, okay, let me step away from it. Let me pray and then come back to it. So I'm patient with myself. Um, I wasn't always that way though, Dr. Ed. I, I used to struggle with fear a lot, you know? I really did. Sometimes I, I felt like I couldn't even breathe sometimes when I have to do a lot of work. Really, I struggled with it. And for all those that struggle with anxiety, don't feel bad. It, you know, we only are who we are, but it's important to find the source of that and move forward. And so for me, I just started to really just like kind of, sometimes I just will go time in which I will just read a certain chapter. I was recently called to read the book of Daniel and I shared that with you, Dr. Ed, a long time ago. And I completed that uh, time in which I read the book of Daniel just to be reminded of someone who had to stand firm in their faith. And then also, how do I spread love? I fast, to be honest, that's how I spread love. I deny myself something so that I can have more compassion for others. So what does that even mean, right? You can deny yourself food. Um, or deny yourself breads. You can deny yourself um, social media. You can deny yourself watching your television show. Take that time to put it towards reflection and meditation. And when you do that, you will have a calmness, you will have a quietness, you will have a patience, and ultimately be able to spread love because, you know, I believe that patience, you know, love and patience, right? You know where I'm going with this. Um, <laughs> I can't say right now because I can't think right now, but just patience creates the opportunity for you to have love. That's good. I love how you say like you you can cut out certain things. And when you cut out certain things, you can hone the trade God has given you. Oh, yes, and yes. And you can spread the gospel of Jesus Christ or the love of Jesus Christ through those things. So say if you're not, say you're a surgeon or something, you don't know how to do this procedure, you would mm -hmm. cut out the TV honing on the, the gift God has given you. And then next time you get a patient like that, then you can perfect what you've been learning. And that will help demonstrate the love of Jesus. And I love how you talk about patience because patience is like a, is a scarce commodity nowadays. <laughs> yes. Like everybody wants to cancel people. You say one wrong thing, you're canceled. You say this, you're canceled. And I'm like, it's crazy because the most perfect person who ever lived the earth they counseled him. They crucified him. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, so I think people, if you want to protect your mental health, if you get counseled, it's okay because they counseled Jesus. You're not perfect. He he was perfect. They counseled him. So yeah. Yeah, I think just right there is like, just realize that you're not in this boat alone. You're no. not the only one showing compassion. You're not the only one being patient with people. So I think another way to demonstrate the love of Jesus to everyone you work with is to remember that you're not the only one in this fight. Because sometimes yeah. you want to stop showing love because you're like, I'm the only one showing love. I'm the only one pouring out to people. I'm the only one encouraging. And then sometimes that will shut off your love. But I think people just need to remember that you're not in it alone. Right, right. And then along those lines, I love how you said that you're not in it alone. You're not. So if you're not in it alone, what must you do? Get to know the people you work with. Honestly, you know, you may be of a different faith, you may speak a different language, but the one common thing to everyone is a meal. Everyone, I don't care what part of the world you're from, everyone understands food on table, time to eat. <laughs> like everyone can do that. And goodness gracious, whether if you just wanted a sip of coffee or something to, you know, a, a dessert, you know, as long as it, you know, tastes right, you know, people are going to like it and people are going to smile and be fed. And, you know, that's why, you know, the Bible says God is, you know, the living bread, right? You know, and so be, you know, God, you know, give us our daily bread, right? You know, just be, God, give me the portion I need today. And when you have that, when you are fed spiritually and when you offer physically food to your fellow members and get to know them and understand their culture and their neg narrative, you are able to be that light and spread love. And also, 
I need to say this because there's sometimes there's people so overzealous. And I know that we live in a world that if you, if you don't know Jesus, you, you're not going to go to heaven. But this, this is where I approach it. Be their friend first. Don't try to say, this is going to be my project. I'm going to tell them about Jesus and I'm going to save them for the kingdom. Be their friends first. Because if you be their friend, as Dr. Art is talking about, have set a table for them. Let's eat food. Tell me about yourself. I tell you by myself. And sometimes that first meeting, Jesus won't come up. It might not come up, but at least you lay down the foundation of being a friend. Yes. And just to add on to that, Dr. Ed, again, I mean, I don't have time to waste, you know, I am busy. <laughs> we are busy. And so that being said, you know, just know when I'm sitting with you and I'm asking you about your day or, you know, what you did that weekend, I'm being 100% genuine because I truthfully do not have the time to waste and not be genuine. Um, so that's just for sure. And I'm getting to know you because I genuinely care about you. I care about how you are just you. I don't care even how you relate to me. I care about you as a person and your well-being because I want to make sure that you know, if I can help you in any way, I'm there and that I'm there to listen. And so I truthfully am not, it's not even like a first meeting. It's like, I just genuinely want to know you, but I'm prepared if you have to ask questions and you want to ask questions about how, how are you, again, so happy? How are you able to approach some of these tasks without any stress? How I'm able to, I'm ready and willing to talk to you. So I don't, honestly don't care if we've ever talked about my faith, to be honest with you. You're you and I'm me, but I'm prepared and I'm ready and I'm willing and I'm open. And so again, being loving is about being open. And Dr. Ed, I just am so grateful how you've been so open with me about your faith and even challenging me to just be better in the short amount of time I've known you. And so we have to continue to do that in our respective professions. And I just want to wrap everything up with one word, or I guess two words. Yes. <laughs> when you want to, these are not the two words, by the way, when you want to demonstrate the love of Jesus, you have to be two things. As you, you said it, you, you alluded to it, but you never said it. The two words is you have to be intentional. Yes. To demonstrate love. Yes. Love is an action word. Mm. John 3, 16, for God loved the world. He did what? He sent down. He showed action. He sent down Jesus. That whosoever believe him would not perish, but have everlasting life. So you have to be intentional if you want to demonstrate your love of Jesus to people in the medical field, people, whatever field you're working in. So you can't... It, you don't show love accidentally. You can yeah. show kindness by accident. You can show compassion by accident. You can show mercy accidentally. But when it talks about the true love, the agape love, you have to be intentional with it. And I love that. That's what you talked about. You're like, I'm going to sit down. You know, I'm a busy individual. I don't got time for this. But I'm going yeah. to make a schedule because I want to be intentional with you so I get to know you as a person. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more content, subscribe over here and watch the next video over there. God bless you.